Hey, so I've got some super exciting news. I've received this camera earlier in the week, which is the ZWO ASI 2600 MC Pro one shot color camera. And as it happens tonight, it uh, looks to be clear most of the night, although I probably only have around three hours of completely dark skies available. Uh, so I really want to make the most of it. And I'm trying to prepare early to look at the field of view and make sure that my back focus is right so that I can really make the most of those three hours. But I'm, I'm not expecting too much, um, but hopefully I do have a nice image to share at the end of this video. The plan for tonight is to um, take an image of the North American Nebula, which lies in the constellation of Cygnus and um, around about 2000 light years from Earth. I want to show you this by um, quickly jumping into Telescopius um, and I can also work out what sort of framing um, I want to have and um, I'm well prepared for later on when I put the mount outside. So let's go and do that quickly now. So let's go into Telescopius and the uh, telescope simulator. And tonight we said we would image the North American Nebula, which should come up here. Yeah, there we are. And I don't quite like that framing, although it's got the Pelican Nebula uh, next to it and the Sydney's wall. Um, what I want to do tonight is just focus on the North America nebula. So I just want to have a quick look at what the framing could look like. So I think this is quite a nice rotation. Get a little bit of the Cygnus wall in there as well. I think that would look quite nicely. Maybe get some more of the nebula in here. So I'm going to take note of the degree down here and I'm going to see if I can match that up uh, with my camera. So we are all set up now, um, I've done a rough balance, uh, I'll do the, the sort of fine tuning uh, once I've taken the lens cups off later. Um, like I said before, target tonight is the North American Nebula, which should rise, I don't know if you can see that, just uh, above that tree, uh, just after it's completely dark, so it's still fairly low in the sky. Um, but as I said, I'd like to test the new equipment on a emission nebula and hopefully it should be good to go. So I will talk to you again in about a couple of hours when I will do the um, polar alignment. Right, so I've switched everything on. Uh, the camera is cooling down. Um, it might be a little bit too, too bright still, but I can see Polaris. So. Um, let's give it a go. Got my ears out here. See what it does. So it's trying to play itself here. Take the first shot. It's continuing, so yeah, I'll pull out a line, try and focus. I also need to focus my new uh, guide scope, so it's probably going to take me a little while to do that. Um, and off we go. Hey, right, so we are polar aligned. It's pitch black outside, so I've started the um, imaging session. A little bit earlier it's not it's not a hundred percent like dark but 
um, the first sub is actually just come in and I'm gonna show you in here I don't know if you can see it but it's absolutely incredible um, so I'm on the North American Nebula and I'm running five minute exposures at minus 10 degrees uh, the camera is running on a hundred percent a hundred gain um, and the guiding is incredible I'm totaling um, below 0.8 which is a little bit worse than I usually had but considering the uh, actually it's just dropped down to 0.5 um, so it's no difference to the weight and I've actually exceeded what's sort of the um, suggested weight maximum for the EQM 35 Pro and it's going really well so fingers crossed um, I've got three and a half hours maybe four hours maybe I stretch it to four and a half um, on the North American Nebula and I'm really really excited to share that image with you um, and I'll get that done as soon soon as I can so yeah amazing really really amazing it's the next one is coming in soon so yeah it's just that's what I do this hobby for incredible Hey, so last night uh, was great, um, although I did miss an hour of imaging because there were some clouds um, that were not in the forecast at all, but I guess that's what happens. Um, so I, I managed to get in total about three hours worth of data, uh, which I'm going to process now and then hopefully have the image to share. and. I mean the clouds came in but it wasn't the end of the world because I did notice um, that uh, right in the corner of the first couple of subs that came in I uh, had some back focus issues so I had to sort that out anyway so I probably would have lost about the similar amount of time anyway um, so yeah there we go um, the rest went really well and I'm super super excited to take some more images with that camera and the the, the telescope as well it's just a, a fantastic matchup so I do hope you enjoy that uh, image and the video and if you find this sort of content helpful and useful please do consider giving it a thumbs up see you next time <laughs>